very excited. We are running our live luxury showdown. Going to have a great event. We have lots of contestants. Looks like the luxury furniture just popped up. What does Xenothran have to offer us today? Oh, it is a wedding repeat. This is a surprise. This is the first time that we've had these items repeated outside of one exception. So our contestants are going to have to create something out of nothing but these items. This is a new item. They said that there would be at least new, one new item every week. So we have a wide wedding curtain. Wedding flower trellis, lantern. So everything here is a repeat except for this wide curtain. So what we're going to do is we're just going to buy a whole bunch of these. And then our contestants are going to have to create something out of them. So I'm going to buy a bunch of these. Hopefully I have enough gold to go around. Reasonably priced. So that makes it pretty decent quite large items and it is a pretty compact space that people will have to work within so we will see how our contestants handle that part of the challenge we'll give them more blossoms so this is very exciting so i'm going to go to my primary meet up with my contestants we're being being held at prize pinnacle So very excited to see what people do with this wedding stuff. Happy to see it back. A lot of people miss the wedding things the first time around. So see what our contestants can do. Supposedly had a problem with getting one person into the home. And Richardson is our one of our builders today. We'll get him in here really quickly. There we go. So here are our contestants. We have our decorators and we have our we have our Mega Geek Lizzie as our participant, Skull Lord, Dr. Weird, and M. Richardson too. Should be coming on here shortly. and Richardson that he can come in and we have our judges which will be joining us in discord uh, they're welcome to make commentary throughout the contest so that will be exciting to see what they have to say uh, they're very esteemed pro decorators a lot of experience uh, and our contestants too I'll introduce the contestants here in a bit Let's see I need to turn my sound up a bit once one moment on that if there are any stream quality issues, let me know in Twitch chat. And also, if you are in Twitch chat, stick around. I'll be giving everybody an opportunity to pick up these lovely wedding luxury items here in a moment. Now, let's see. One thing I need to do is just quickly turn off my Master Merchant if it's not on. Okay. That, that might be cause some problems later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each of our contestants a stack of each of the wedding luxury items, and then the contestants are going to have 30 minutes and only 30 minutes to create something, something, just whatever they can make in only 30 minutes. And the more creative they are, the better that they will do. So I'm going to start giving every one of these players some of these items to work with let's see so we have four players so i can give them quite a few each i'm just going to put them all in a stack and then they'll have to create something but don't start yet don't start yet so we have this lovely trellis very much in demand Definitely consider buying a lot of those. These wedding items, not very few people bought these the first time around. And they really spiked in value just because people didn't buy enough of them. Okay, so we have 
wedding blossoms. Can give each of them quite a few of these, and these are a lovely glowing item. Give them each quite a few to work with, and if they need more, I can probably replenish it. So starting here, just as soon as I place items for everybody. Skullord says that the blossoms are bright, and that is very true. Beautiful light source. everybody about the same amount. Wedding curtains are going to be interesting because they're quite large. Now this is going to, this is going to be a challenge to create something out of these. These are all quite different items from one another. <laughs> Apparently I did not unlock that achievement yet. So that's fun. Is ready. Had no clue that wedding stuff was going to be up this week. I'm actually quite surprised. I didn't think that would actually happen until the Dragon Buns update was out. Okay, and now we have the wide curtains, which are very similar. I hope I have enough item slots in this, this place. I've put up quite a few of them already. Then, as soon as I get these all up, start countdown. May not have evenly dispersed that, but I suppose that will be part of the challenge. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this out as quickly as I can. Let's see here. Now we have the wedding lanterns. We have another light source. Definitely interested to see how the contestants can put these items together in a way to create something new. It's only five different items. Last week was the Constellation Steels. They are effectively... Oh no, I ran out of room. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something. Oh, dang. I was, I was too... I was too... <sighs> I was too generous with the items, so I need to actually put some items away. Oh, I know. Let's see here. Sorry about that. See, I can only put so many items up. So, I'll see if I can't... ...make some more room. Put more wedding blossoms up. I'm just going to give Skullard a few of these and then uh, figure things out from there, and then we'll start. Give him as many as I can place. Okay, well, he only gets a few for now, and I'll try to try to work on things in the meantime. Okay, so we are set. We have, we have our contestants all here. Hope Twitch chat is excited. And we'll be doing this every every Friday evening, so... Try to manage any hiccups that we come across. But I hope everybody's ready. Okay, and I'm going to count down in here. Three, two, one, and we are going. I have a little clock I'm going to start here. There we go. I have a clock up in Twitch chat. Countdown. Okay, so contestants are going. They have 30 minutes to create something out of these luxury items. Excited to see what they will do. It's not a lot of time, and this is not a very big space. Once the Cold Harbor Surreal Estate comes out, I think that will give contestants a bit more room. For now, just working within here. Let's 
So we, I would like to introduce the contestants. Have four great builders. And if you're watching in Twitch chat and you want to be a participant in next Friday's challenge, then go ahead and shoot me a mail. Uh, if you're on the PC, Mac, and a server, then I, I need four, four builders. So if you want, if you're interested, just let me know. So I want to introduce Skull Lord. Skull Lord says that when it comes to decorating a home, he likes to take a big open space and cut it off from the rest of the house, creating their own custom builds. Skull Lord customizes by taking random items and rotating them, and they take something practical and make it into something completely different. And that, that's their goal when they're decorating. And fortunately for Skull Lord, that's exactly what this live luxury showdown is all about, which is taking something just kind of basic and creating something fantastic out of it. I, I'm really interested what they can create this evening. So Skull Lord says that their favorite part of ESO is Homestead, which is the housing and the homes and everything, uh, uh, the furnishings and everything like that, since that allows them to get creative and let loose their imagination. Skull Lord also likes the trading aspect of the game, and Skull Lord spends a lot of time reading the master merchant charts and studying statistics in order to make lots of gold. And Skull Lord says that their greatest accomplishment in ESO was becoming an angel in Spicy Economics. That's a trading guild. That's a guild that Stormahawk and I are co-leaders of. Great trading guild, Mournhold based, uh, EP, EP faction. Uh, and Skull Lord ranked up, that requiring a lot of time and hard work in order to show a lot of the support necessary for the guild to do that. And Skull Lord loves a tall alien bookcase. I actually have one of those. So Skull Lord loves this bookcase, and I agree, it's beautiful. Let's try and get, let you know a bit about the contestants and their, what they're about. Skull Lord says that they love the bookcase because it's so easy to build with, big and tall, and his favorite home is the Grand Topol Hideaway. That's the one with the lovely beach area. And, but unfortunately, Skull Lord was not able to purchase that during that window, so they're hoping that that comes back again. And, and Skull Lord would also love to see more stained glass windows, kind of like the Dark Brotherhood one. I see one of my judges is ready. I'm going to get them into the Discord, get them situated in Discord. We, let's see if I can get all my judges. We have three fantastic judges tonight, Ninja Monkey and Swankery and Wubin. All experienced decorators. Trying to get them situated so we can get their feedback as well. They'll be the ones that award our contestants. Each of our participants that is building today will walk away with one of each of these luxury furnishings. They're relatively cheap. Maybe I'll make it two. And the the winner will get a triple dose. So bit more of an incentive to be a bit more creative. I'm trying to get our judges situated. In the meantime, I'll keep introducing our lovely contestants. So next is Mega Geek Lizzie. Have some info about her. Mega Geek Lizzie was here last week, so I had introduced her before. She's a role player and a PVEer, and Lizzie is a homestead addict, and they're a college student in real life. And when they are designing their homes, they try to be lore friendly and kind of create their builds around what the characters would actually be like. So it's really adding a lot of that role playing element to their homes and to their builds. So. It's a little bit different when you're creating something here, just cr not necessarily decorating towards a character, but maybe maybe Lizzie's own role-playing and PVE experience will come into play when, with it, whatever they happen to be building. And Lizzie is also an experienced trader, make lots of gold, which is good because they like to buy lots of furnishings and lots of motifs, lots and lots of things in the game. So Lizzie, great decorator. 
great trader. Let's see if I I'm trying to get Wubin into my Discord. Not sure where they are. Oh, I just need to move them here. Okay, I have Wubin and Swankery in our Hello. judging chat. Hello, is that Wubin? Hello, Wubin. Picking up a little bit of a uh, background noise. Okay, I'm going to keep introducing our participants. Here is M. Richardson. Wubin, I'm, I'm, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm gonna mute you until until uh, background noise is fixed. So uh, right now I'm introducing M. Rich. Let's see, I have some info about them. M. Rich says that their greatest accomplishment in ESO was finally finishing Cadwall Gold so that they can wear the fancy upside down hat. Let's see if they're wearing that. They are wearing that lovely pot on their head from finishing the quest line. M. Richardson. Oop, I'll get out of his way. Mostly likes doing PvE. They like doing the quests, and they listen to all the speeches during the quest, so they really soak in the experience of the, the questing, questing part of this game. And... They say it's really cool because they've been gaming long before things like speech were, were were implemented into games like this. And they're really excited for the player storage that's coming up with Dragon Bones. That's just this Monday. It's going to be exciting. And it's going to be you know, with home storage. You have to either buy that with Rit Vouchers or with Telvar. Going to be a major market changer coming this Monday. So, and Emrich is also waiting Elder Scrolls 6. Someday, maybe. <laughs> so, wish Emrich some great luck and hopefully some creative vibes as they continue to decorate their quadrant. Interested, interested to see what they can do with these luxury items. Okay, I'll keep introducing our contestants. Here is Dr. Weird. Dr. Weird says that they've been playing ESO off and on since beta. And the, ma the vast majority of that time has been as a sorcerer. And that they've been playing the Elder Scrolls since Morrowind. And that they love all things Telvanni. Big, big into the... the fungal aspects of the game. <laughs> what Dr. Weird likes most about ESO is the combat system, and Dr. Weird says they haven't found any other game where they can go from sieging castles to fighting in dungeons or just trying to organize duels in the middle of nowhere, and the community is great. And outside of ESO, they say that their greatest accomplishment was running one of the best Half-Life 2 deathmatch guilds during the game's prime, during Souls in Exile. So life exists outside of ESO as well. So, oh, Jordy exists as sub. Thank you very much for the sub. Keep introducing our contestants. Don't want to leave them be. As So, as far as ESO goes, M, or Dr. Weird was very proud of hitting the top 10 EP in Hatteras. And... They also ran the Scroll of Chim from Bloodmain back to the Scroll Temple Scroll Temple with a small group, and they said that was a lot of fun. So, Cyrodiil, PvP, can be a lot of fun in this game. Great accomplishments there. And Dr. Word says that for decorating, they don't really have a style, though they kind of like more of the dark and magical sort of themes. And they like enchanted and mystical furnishings. Maybe that goes along with the Telvanni things. Uh, it's a little bit more, more out there. And they say that Hermaeus Mora is their favorite Daedric Prince, and they wish there was more of Hermaeus Mora in ESO. I do too. And they'd like a floating manifestation of eyes and tentacles in their house. <laughs> that could be a really fun furnishing. 
and they say that their favorite home right now, though it's a tough call, is Pariah's Pinnacle, though they really like the upcoming Redguard Palace whenever that's going to be available. Maybe it'll just be available when Dragon Bones hits live on Monday. Not, not quite sure. And they love all things Mare. They love Aeliad, the Dunmer, the Altmer, the Orzammer, the Bosmer, and any of the great houses, but especially Talvani. And if they could improve ESO a little bit, what they'd like to see prioritized would be Battlegrounds. Maybe more of like a 6 versus 6 challenge instead of just a 4v4v4. V4. And things like defending with sieges and things like that could be really fun. So they would love to see PvP get some more love in ESO. So no, we have role players, we have PvPers, we have PvEers, we have decorators. Interested to see what all our contestants can make today. Things starting to take shape. Again, we have our four participants for our live luxury showdown. We have Skull Lord, trying not to get in their way. We have Lizzie. We have Emrich, and we have Doctor Weird. So. Good luck to all of them. I hope that they can work quickly. They only have 18 minutes left. That is that countdown timer showing up for everybody in Twitch chat? I just installed that today. I'm hoping it works. Let me know. I should say it. We're at 17:57 left. Okay. And we have our judges. Oh, um, I don't have my judges. Trying to get my judges. Trying to get my judges situated. Because I'd be interested in what their views on the contest are so far. I think that these are great items with the with wedding theme. Things starting to take shape. Okay, the countdown clock is working. Thank you, Twitch Chat, for saying that. Okay, I might... Okay, new plan. On judges, I'm going to have them in different Discord chat. Okay, I for judging, I'm just going to keep the judges in the general chat on Discord. Just let me know if you can confirm that. Okay, Wuben, you should be able to speak now. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Welcome, welcome. Good. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yep. Happy to have you here. Let's see. Could I just have you introduce yourself, your experience with ESO and with housing, and what you think of the this contest, and maybe what you expect from the participants? Sure. Um... I guess I've played ESO for a year and a half, I guess. Uh, played it and then got really interested once uh, Homestead came into play. So started playing really serious around that time, I guess, what, a year ago or so. So a casual player. And then at that point, I became pretty serious or, you know, played a lot. Um, my experience um, basically been part of um, a homestead guild since day one. Tell us um, about your guild. Uh, yeah, the, the guild is uh, called a Divine Design Alliance, and the idea is just housing nerds, basically, is what it is. <laughs> um, started off with a few people, uh, and it started off with uh, Danger Lucy and Swankery. Uh, having an idea that you know they could um, craft stuff and kind of sell it uh, at a house, and it was kind of a neat idea. Like we'd go get people and bring them in uh, on like on a Saturday, but it was kind of hard to do, you know, un unrealistic probably. Uh, but that just kind of created this community of people that were hanging out um, in game at this guild hall with a bunch of you know stuff, and from there it kind of developed into um, you know, obviously us enjoying Nessers at Homes and stuff, but then we started doing what we call challenges 
where we'd have ideas, you know, like one was make us laugh, you know, real gentle like that. So we would, I made a giant stone troll that was pooping, you know, <laughs> um, Danger Lucy made a, a job of the hut, uh, shrine that was pretty cool. So, uh, it was that amazing. Was, yeah, it was, and that was about a year ago. Uh, and you know, I think we probably have slowly built up uh, over time and, uh, it's been neat to see, uh, you know, as the homestead stuff has progressed. So that's kind of the, my story, I guess. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I just really love that aspect of the, the yard sales that you have where it's kind of mixing trading and housing, two, two of my favorite aspects of the game. So I, I really love that as well. Yeah, that's right. The, the, the yard sales, I forgot that. We, uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we all know that we have a bunch of stuff that we buy and we decorate homes and then you have this extra furniture there's no uh, such so, thing as extra no such thing as yeah, extra. That, that's true that's right i have homes <laughs> just with stuff stuffed in it but um yeah the yard sales are really fun kind of neat way for people to you know actually it kind of came about because uh you know we didn't have a trader for a long time and so you know and people weren't big traders in big trade guilds uh, like spicy uh, and so it was kind of a way for people to have, you know make some funds uh, and, and then help their friends yeah, that's, that's great fun. Let's see, I think uh, Swanker is here too. Could you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi. Uh, Swanker here. Yeah, also uh, avid homesteader. Uh, I, I, I will kill passionately for uh, patterns. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just part of, again, uh, the uh, DDA, so Divine Design Alliance. Um, we love to build and decorate. And, I've been doing that uh, since, of course, uh, Homestead dropped. I've been playing since uh, beta. Yep, and Swanker so. was one of our judges last week and did a fantastic job. Had a great fun judging the Constellation Steel contest. So I'm glad to have you here again. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you guys for having me again. Let's see, and Ninja Monkey is our third judge. They put out a luxury furnishing video every week. I I'm not sure if they are done with that or if they're here. Let me know if you're here, Ninja Monkey. I am here. Okay, let me have you tell yourself a bit about yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, I am the Ninja Monkey, uh, 0169. I do run a YouTube channel uh, for housing and such. We're, we're still growing it, uh, still trying to figure out some Twitch and whatnot. Um, been here since beta i love housing it is it is end game for me so a lot of people like doing uh, uh trials and such i think that all just builds up to to this stuff getting housing competitions and and, and competing and and also uh collaborative work with other people it's really what i'm interested in in this game yeah we well, appreciate what you do for the eso community putting out those videos and appreciate you judging. You were also here last week, and again, it was a fantastic week last week, and learned a lot, and here again this week, and planning on improving every week and having this contest every week. So, new luxury furnishings every Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So, this is great fun. I can see these really starting to come together. Contestants have less than 11 minutes left. So, Judges, what uh, what are you making of the build so far? I don't know if you're in the home. If, if you are not here, you can port on to my pr primary residence in Prize Pinnacle. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on my way. Or if, if you've yeah, caught any I've of this stream. Uh, I've, uh, I've been running around here a little bit, and uh, things are starting to flush out pretty good. I mean, we're, we're a little more than halfway, right? We're like three quarters of the way through. Well, only, all, only about 10 minutes left. So, uh, the interesting part is, uh, we're, we're on the repeat now, right? So this is, this is all the, uh, the furnishings that we had before, plus one additional item, which is the, uh, the, the wide, wide one, version right. of the curtains. Yes. So it's, it's super cool to see what, uh, what people are doing with these. Cause when, when this first came out, when housing first came out, um, this is the stuff that dropped and people weren't too sure how much they wanted to invest in it. So seeing large piles of these blue flowers is uh, pretty impressive because, remember like most people didn't buy like a bunch of this stuff to begin with so yeah they've been very scarce just because 
I, I think people were really overwhelmed when Homestead was launched because it's like there were like 1,300 items just dropped on us, and so it's like, oh, these these four wedding items are these any good? I don't, we don't really know what to expect from this luxury vendor. So after a, after a whole year of luxury items, I think people have a better sense of what's good and what's maybe worth passing on. But I don't know. I buy everything every week, so. But, you know, light sources have always been very popular, and anything, like, pretty flowers, you know, pe people love love the, the, these wedding things, and I'm glad that they have another chance to get them. I think that's the thing about the luxuries is kind of what y'all touched on, but when they came out, I mean, I would just get, like, one or two, you know? What do I need for my house? Right, right. Now, now I'm like, mean, oh, well, are these, are these yeah. going to go up in value? Are other people going to want these? <laughs> Yeah, or, you know, I mean, I may use it 50 times. <laughs> I know, I mean, I know. Look what these people are able to build using more than just one or two of these. I think people actually, that's been the cool thing about, you know, as you'll see, like, ninjas' houses and some, you know, some of our houses is that, that people are really creative with the tool, you know. When Homestead first came out, I mean, you just kind of placed everything, right? I mean, it was a chair in the middle of a room. And then you started realizing you could put it in the floor or... Uh, and it's amazing what people can do. Right, it's just getting that creativity, and you know, you can rotate items, you can you can put them yeah. upside down, you can put them together, create something new. I think that's the first thing I do is I rotate them all around, see what I can do with them. Yeah, because if if you're just looking at it from a different perspective, you can kind of start to maybe think about what you can do with it. Yeah. I see. Uh, we have one casualty. M. Richardson has crashed. I hope that they're able to get back in here soon. Oh, okay, they they are here. Yeah, I'm super interested to see uh, or to hear really what what the contestants are saying about each each one of these uh, pieces that they're putting together and what their inspiration is. This is a great idea, Jay Hart. Oh well, thank you very much. Uh, I think just having contests like this are good for the housing community, and I you know I just love the luxury furnishings, and I just don't know if people. You know, appreciate them. I'd like more people to be involved with, with the trading aspects of the game and luxury furnishings are kind of a big trading deal too. So I just yeah. love, love, love little luxury. And we'll probably be expanding this type of format to other things other than just the, the luxury furnishings, maybe uh, based off of different uh, themes, maybe based around the calendar. So I'll peep, keep people informed about what is going to be coming down the, the pipeline as far as that's concerned, but for now, just doing this every Friday. These lovely. Does anybody remember what the second week of wedding was? Oh, uh, we had the, the a gazebo. Stuff. Oh, a gazebo. That's right. Yeah. And a shred of Mara. Uh, but they might not bring back everything. They only said they were bringing back some things. Right. It was just it was one new thing this week, right? Yeah. The the wide curtain is the one new thing. Yeah. I'm stoked hand. they brought it back. I'm very stoked they brought it back. Yeah, yeah. I, I, gonna... I had missed that week last year, so. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so will I get the items this year? So that's cool. Very cool. I'm not gonna look. I'm I'm gonna kind of go on first impressions when, on the completed project. So. That, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. I only have about five minutes. Thirty minutes is not a lot of time to do this. You know, rotating no, things. No, no. Maybe. I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, I probably spent 30 minutes thinking about it. I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. I'll give them a little bit of leniency as far as if they were a little crooked or something. This is such a great house. Uh, the prize is really big. I like it for the con contest. I think they really need to... I mean, we all think they need to up the item limit, but... Yeah, I mean, I ran into that tonight, even, just trying to give these contestants something to build with. I don't even have, the like, homes are, anything the homes are in getting here. so big. I know, I know. And I think they're just getting bigger, right? The next ones are huge. Oh, yeah, that one in Hughes Bane is massive. Really? At 700 slots, is just it's, it's just not going to cover it. It really just doesn't. Like, like we appreciate what we do get from Zoss, but yeah. just a little more, just a little more. Yeah. I well, in that I Cold Harbor that. house, I mean, okay, we want to build stuff, but <laughs> I 
I build my structure and then I can decorate it. This is super cool. Are you having the same, are the same people doing it? Uh, no, um, the only repeat this week is uh, Lizzie. Uh, had fun with that last week. But, but if anybody is out there on Twitch chat, or if you know people that would be interested in being participants, just let me know. Uh, my name is at J Hart Ellis on the PC Mac NA server. If you would like to build this, you know, and and if you if you are selected, you'll also get a copy of each of the luxury furnishings, which has potential for great value. You know, I I'll be sure to uh, give all of our participants some of the luxury furnishings here tonight. And the winner, whoever we decide, uh, will get a triple helping of these luxury furnishings. So they will get these curtains and lights and blossoms. So be worth nice. your time and hopefully fun. Hopefully not too stressful. The goal here is to just get your creative juices flowing, create something fun, and you know, get a little rewarded for it. So that's that's the point of this contest. Well, when it's time to judge, let me know and I'll, I'll go get swankery out of Drayloth from checking urns okay well we, we only I'm have joking. three minutes left to build so we'll give the uh we'll have to maybe clean things up a little bit as, as soon as the, the building's over but then we'll get into the judging and people finish up Yeah, it's starting to see some of this uh, flesh out. Over in Dr. Weird's section. Definitely know what he's going for there. We can assume. Those are very distinctive nostrils. <laughs> oh, I love the path here. Um, so last uh last week you were saying this this cost you quite a quite a pretty penny to put together what it what it cost this week do you know oh let's see how much did i start with i spent about four million gold this week last week i spent like six because i wasn't really much paying attention to the price but i bought a lot of those constellation steels less than two minutes left less than two minutes left Oh no, I might even buy more of these. I I love the wedding blossoms. I do too. Yeah, the blue ones are amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time not buying one of those. And I even things like the curtains and trellises ended up being very valuable, so I don't, I don't know yeah. if that was just a, a supply issue more than a demand issue. I think that these are all very, very beautiful wedding items. Yeah. And our participants have done a great job so far putting these together. Only one minute left, one minute remaining. Let's see, here's Swankery. So we have three judges, and if the if there's not sort some sort of like a consensus among the judges, then I'll be a tiebreaker. Right, twenty seconds, twenty seconds to put those final touches on. Ten. Nine, eight. Oh, I was watching the wrong chat. I might have. Uh, okay, it's over. <laughs> 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 the, the chat's on delay compared to my my streaming software, so I suppose it's wrapped up. Okay, it's all wrapped up. So exciting. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give them a couple of minutes to just to hide things that aren't intended to be part of their build. 
and, and one of the guys dropped for a second, right? So maybe maybe just a, just a minute, right? Yep, that's how I'm going to shove the items in the walls or just do something with them to get rid of them. I don't want, I don't want them judged off of their, their little messy bits. Nobody wants to be judged by their bits. Maybe. If you have nothing else going for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, trying to see. Okay, just giving them a little bit of time to, to clean it up a little bit. I give them a lot of extras in their building space. Might might have to rethink that. Okay, I, I think I think Dr. Weirds has probably cleaned up enough. Okay, so I'm asking Dr. Weird what they have created for us today. Hmm, where's that? Are you? And what and what are your well, give him a moment to respond. It's a face. It's a face. He confirms it is a face. Oh. <laughs> I'm catching that now. <laughs> I had to back up a bit. <laughs> okay, so so that's what... What do, do our lovely judges think of the face that Dr. Weird has created out of these luxury items? Oh, I see it. I, I feel like I am uh, small enough to be edible in there, which is good. <laughs> yeah, getting that feeling too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty clever. Okay. Very pretty eyebrows. Those are the prettiest eyebrows I've seen. Oh, they're so bushy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and bright blue eyes using the wedding blossoms. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Very clever. Good use of the wall. Good use of sinking the items. Yep, and rotating and everything. Lots of uh, little style tricks here. Yeah, so nose is protruding out. It's a rotated curtain. So you don't have to use a whole item to, to use an item. Some nice uh, blue eyes going on here. Yeah. I think the nostrils are my favorite part. Yeah, mine too. I like that a lot. And if anybody in Twitch chat wants to add their thoughts about that, let me know too. Okay. Oh, and, and who, whose submission is this? So that is Dr. Weird has created the face I'd like to get all this down on my dry erase board so i know what's going on all right what's next okay asking skull lord next Let's see what they have done here oh no it seems to be maybe some Let's see, they have made a goddess shrine. Seems kind of ritualistic in here. Skull yeah. has made a shrine. Oop, it's a my comfortable camera. little space here. Oh, I see. It's kind of, uh, it's like a, I see a person on the floor with a dress. Oh, yeah. And their hands are outreached. I, at least I think that's what I'm getting from this. So they, they have a white dress with a, the blue flowers, and they have their arms up. Yeah, the goddess is on the floor. This is the goddess. I see that, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing it now, too. That's cool. Very cool how he made it look like a... Well, they said that this is supposed to be like a, flower, a, dress. a flower person on the wall. Can kind of see their the wedding blossoms are kind of the limbs. <laughs> so a little bit more abstract. 
Okay, cool. Very pretty. Abstract is good. Abstract is good. Creative artsy type. Skull always does fun things. Yeah, Skull Lord is a very experienced decorator. I've seen them in lots of contests. They always do well. And in such a short amount of time, too. Yeah, 30, 30 minutes is not a lot of time to put something like this together. No, oh, yeah, that's... And you're limited. Okay, thank you very much, Skull Lord. And next we're going to, I believe this was Lizzie's Quadrant. Cool. I like this uh, little path right here. Yeah, the walkway is nice. A lot. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look up. What? Up. Cool. That is, that is some fun geometry kind of nice. I'm a little lost in here. It feels like a base of points, but that's cool, actually. So, so bright in here. Must be the sound of him rustling through the curtains. There are quite a few. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So no, I like this a lot. Trellis all the way around. Good little uh, cathedral of curtains going on in here. That's what I like. Good use of the curtains to make uh, create a gazebo. Yeah, yeah. Making a three-dimensional object out of what are otherwise quite two-dimensional. Yeah. And the ceiling is really cool. Like uh, Swank, we were saying. Looking up is cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, is it, Lizzie has called this a romantic little getaway spot, maybe for a wedding. That would be appropriate. Oh, uh, I'll go into first person view. Sorry, sorry about that. Thank you very much, Lizzie. For the... Yeah, very intimate setting. Yeah. You, you me, and the pastor, right? <laughs> there you go. Next, we'll go to M. Rich's build. Emrich says that appropriately they have made a wedding reception area. I can see that using these. Cool. Yeah, I can totally see that. Focusing more on the placement of these, kind of make make a place for people to congregate. Yeah. One thing that's kind of cool about these trellises is that you can actually walk through them. Oh, you can! I didn't know that. Yeah, work working as intended. Uh, oh no. When when they first came out, we uh, we we put in tickets, and that that was their response. Is that uh, <laughs> what they wanted? Yeah, kind of like uh, giving away free thrones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's exactly what we're talking about here. I love how he uh, used most of the space in his build area. Really, really took control of of what he was allotted. Yeah, it's very open. It is spacious. And also nicely closed in. Same time. Getting a full view of these trellises, just kind of realizing that they make excellent walls. Emma Richardson said that this was, a, was quite a challenge. <laughs> Thank you, Emrich, for for coming to the challenge and making this for us today. So we'll, we'll show these one more time, and then what I will have the judges do is I'll have them whisper me the rank one through three of what they think the top builds are, 
it's based on their own criteria, maybe on creativity and, and placement, just kind of their impressions about it. And so, and... One, two, three, or do we have four? Well, we have four, but you, you can just list three. It'll save you time. Oh, 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 gotcha. And so we'll show these again. We have Dr. Weird has this funky face. Emphasis on the fun. <laughs> Always jump inside the mouth. And then we have the... The sleeping goddess. Sleeping goddess. This was from Skull Lord. Have the fantastic gazebo from Mega Geek Lizzie. Then we have the wedding reception area from Emrich. Give the judges a moment to kind of think about which ones they think are the best, and we'll de declare a winner. We'll give them a. Can y'all still hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Just just whisper me the the list of names. In chat, is that what you're asking? I, yeah, in the ESO chat. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very competitive. I see that. They'll be great. I may, I may have to do some math. forget to carry the queue. I mean the one. Okay, tabulating that up. Probably need some more cheese back here. Always need more cheese. Let's see, I have results from Swankery and from Ninja Monkey. Almost there. Yeah, it's tough, huh? Yeah, I think I like all of them. I always make a terrible judge because I like them all. <laughs> I like all of them too. How could you not? I mean, they had half an hour. Yeah. So. Uh, I, like you said before, I'd probably 25 minutes in would still be thinking about what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what will I be building today? Yeah. Yeah. Usually takes me, I'll think about it and then I won't do it. And then I'll take another week and then maybe I'll go do it. I really consider things for long periods of time. So this would be too much pressure probably for me to do in half an hour. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm with you. In inspiration seems to be the, uh, the hardest part. Okay, there was not yeah. consensus at all among our judges, so I'm going to, I, I have ranked these, and I'm going to add up their scores. See, that it, that only goes to show you how good the uh, the submissions were. Yeah, I think so. I think I changed my mind a couple times. <laughs> Who's stuck in the mouth? Hilarious. Did not know you could walk through these things. Working oh, but you can get intended. stuck. They, they make an interesting maze, by the way. I mean, 
Oh man, I bet people can choose to follow the path or run straight through them. They're pretty neat. Um, I've seen them used to uh, block off uh, crafting stations so that you can interact with the crafting stations, but you can't see any of them. Yeah. Okay, so I have tallied up the results, and though it was it was not unanimous, I I am going to go with whoever had the the most total points from our three very experienced judges. So I definitely trust our judgment. So oh, our good luck, everybody, good luck. Our winner. Yeah, good luck. Is Skull Lord with nice. the with the shrine. Congratulations, Yay. Skull. Good job. So they were able to create something out of nothing but the luxury items. I can I can see maybe why the judges thought this was a a good pick, uh, in as much as they created something using not just the just the items, but creating something new out of it. Yeah, I think it's well. well they're all clever ideas. Yes, I, no, I, I, I think what pushed it over the edge for me was uh, um, the little the little RP story behind it. You know what I mean? Like, not yeah. only do you have a, a shape and a definition and a time limit, but you've also come up with a little bit of a story. So It has a little bit yeah. of soul to it. Yeah. But they... I really like the use of the, um, the curtains as, as a dress, or dress representation. In it. I do, too. Yeah. I love that. But, you know, again, all of, all of our participants did great... It. amazing so i i'm quite impressed and again if if you would like to be a participant in next friday's uh, event just let me know in game and we'll have have another luxury showdown next friday so very exciting congrats to skull lord congrats to all of our participants and oh congrats to twitch chat participants because if you stuck around if you type your at name or in Twitch chat, or just whisper it to me on, on the Twitch if you don't want to put your name. Um, I will send you one of each of these luxury furnishings. So just put your put your PC and a uh, at name in the Twitch chat, or message me if you don't want to share that, and then I will I will get you these luxury furnishings. And appreciate you watching. We're doing this every Friday night, so come back next Friday if you want to see more contestants take on this. Uh, live luxury showdown great job everybody and, and thank you again to our judges uh, appreciate everybody oh thanks for having me yeah, yeah you're you. welcome yeah everyone did wonderful it was really hard to pick a winner <laughs> so well much, done much appreciated and maybe go pick up some of these luxury furnishings this weekend it's only this weekend so it's been a year since these have been up so so thanks again everybody go out there have some fun decorating and stay spicy